welcome back. It's Manny with Black Knight Patrol. Today we're going to be taking you guys to one of our accounts and also showcasing one of our patrol cars, uh, specifically our 2014 Ford Explorer. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check out the interior of the like, vehicle, uh, the exterior and our lighting system. Probably not the best one to give you guys this tour, but I'm going to try my best. Spotlights again, very modern in comparison to your traditional um, halogen lights on the Commodores. Um, you will also find that on our mirrors, we have mirror lights that are also emergency capable, meaning the yellow and amber, or they're steady white, giving us the ability to have, uh, have takedown. In a little bit, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I mean by takedown. We go ahead and activate our entire takedown system. Moving to the inside of our patrol unit. We here have the uh, Phoenix 4200 switch box. Uh, the switch box is actually pretty awesome. It allows us to integrate everything, all the controls to this small box. Again, uh, just like I explained, position one, activate our rear lights. If we wanted to activate an additional uh, forward facing light, we would go ahead and push uh, step two. And if we want to go ahead and activate our entire, what law enforcement would call code three, uh, we would go ahead and switch over to the third. Uh, that would actually activate our entire lights. Um, what's pretty cool about this is we also have the ability to go ahead and use just our directional. So if we wanted to go left, uh, quick uh, click to the left arrow here, and our directional up above actually is going left. Um, if we wanted to go ahead and switch to the right, our directional is now going to the right. And then the pretty cool option here is um, if we click the middle, it actually the directional is going to both sides. Um, my favorite part here is the takedown. The takedowns are pretty badass in our patrol units. Whether the Taurus or the Explorers, if you hit the takedown, it'll eliminate everything and anything in front of you. Uh, we also have the ability to uh, use our air horn. So I'm not going to use it because it's probably going to wake people up around us. Uh, but we also have our mic here, uh, our PA system. Comes in handy when we're clearing out city parks and we're announcing that the park is closed. Great tool. Um, in this vehicle, you'll also see that we don't have our, our computer mount. Uh, and the reason for that is because we're currently uh, exploring whether we're going to be moving with the iPad Pro or if we're going to be uh, moving over to the Microsoft Surface. Uh, so once we decide what we're going to go ahead and do, we'll go ahead and purchase those uh, racks for those. We were using the uh, tough books. Um, something that this vehicle doesn't have is our Motorola radio. Um, this one hasn't had it installed yet, but again, we do carry our own handhelds. Um, we have a red dome. But other than that, these vehicles don't have cages, and the reason for that um, is due to the fact that we transport officers um, we never transport anybody or can't put anybody in a cage. Uh, we, can pretty, uh, we also have these the spotlight LEDs are you know, I'm able to control it from the passenger side. Um, so yeah, uh, it's pretty much it. Very simple car. Again, we mirror law enforcement. We are not law enforcement. We are a private patrol company. Um, and again, uh, we, we like to keep our vehicles clean. <laughs> 